You get a belt. You get a belt. You get a belt. So, apparently, the WBC is now giving this quote-unquote freedom belt to honor June 15th versus, well, when Jambrante Tank Davis and Frank Martin fight on June 15th. And everybody know that Juneteenth is June 19th. So, they're giving out this belt. Now, here's a couple of things. What the hell is this belt for? I mean, is it so... Is there going to be now a new freedom champion? You already got a franchise belt. You got a WBC title. And now this freedom belt. So what? You're just going to award it to the... Will the person be a champion? Or is this just like a collector's item? Number two. are they? Did they got to pay sanctioning fees after this? Normally you have to. But now that they got this new belt or whatever. Are they going to make Tank Davis or Frank Martin pay sanctioning fees? And then number three, can they defend this title? You know, for instance, can Jerron Tank Tank Davis go up against Shakur Stevenson and and defend the freedom belt? Or is this just like a one-off thing? And see, this is the problem with boxing, right? You don't know who's the real champions. So, I did a little, uh, a quick research. We got four different champions at lightweight, 135 pounds. Uh, Denny's Burning Check. No, I messed that name up. WBO, IBF Vasily Lomachenko, WBA Javante Tank Davis, WBC Shakur Stevenson, which all of them got Devin Haney's belts, you know. And if the worlds were reversed, they'd be like, oh man, y'all uh, holding Tank Davis belts, you know, whatever. But so since Shakur Stevenson is a WBC champion. What the hell is this freedom belt mean for Shakur Stevenson? Like, is it <laughs> who's the mandatory after this fight? But that's the problem with boxing. They give out too many belts. Every single fight you see, you see people, you have seen people hold belts that's not even world champions. They're like the WBC youth champion, the WBC intercontinental champion, uh, the IBF American champion, the IBF Canada champion. And then, you know, you got to stick out the IBO belt, which don't nobody still know what that's for. But, you know, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you this is the problem with boxing. You know, the the, the WBC, every time that there's a, there's a big fight, even when Floyd fought Conor McGregor, they had this belt. I remember when Adrian Broner fought Mikey Garcia, they had this diamond belt. And <laughs> Adrian Broner said he didn't even know that, that was even a belt. So that's when they just come up with stuff off the top of their head and... That's the problem with boxing, but it does nothing but confuse the fans. We have no idea who's the real champion unless you're a diehard boxing fan. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.